So this is a true diamond in the rough. I find that hard to believe. What's happening, guys? Hope your day is going well. Today, we're going to review Extremist Labs El Jefe. No, it's not their high stem version. We'll get into this. But before we do, we're going to go over the ingredients and we'll go over the effects on this bad boy. If you're new to the channel and you like stuff like that, hit the subscribe button. Love to have you along for the ride. So, give you a little taste of this thing here as far as the effects. If you're familiar with Furiosa by Apollo Nutrition, I know a lot of you are. It's one of my favorite energy hitters. This is Furiosa with pumps. How <laughs> you like that? So before we get into the ingredients and throw it up on the screen, we'll get into the flavor. This is a blueberry lemonade flavor, and it's actually really good. So the flavor, how I can describe it, it's kind of like a lemon head, but like a lime lemon head candy. So it's actually, it's good. It's not fantastic, but it's really damn close. They did a really good job on the flavor on this thing. So for those that want flavor in a pre-workout and you like the effects on this thing, this one will do you just fine. So putting the ingredient profile right in front of me, we have one scoop and a two scoop here. So we got one scoop at 14.1 grams, two scoops at 28.2 grams. And just so you know, a packed flat level scoop is a little off. So if we pack flat level this thing, you're about 12 grams. So you need to do a little dome on it or you got to throw out your scale on this one. But if don't do a heaping scoop, but get a good heaping scoop on there and shake it off until there's like, like a little dome on top of it. And it's pretty much going to be right at that 14 grams right there. So jumping right into the ingredients here, we got Gorilla Pumps and Power Output Matrix. We have 8 grams of citrulline malate 2 to 1 ratio. This is going to be about 6 grams of L-citrulline for vasodilation pumps, oxygen delivery, which is going to produce more ATP. Then we got the malic acid, which is going to contribute to more ATP production in the Krebs cycle. Then we have beta alanine at 4 grams, itching, scratching, tingling. More reps, more sets because of buffers hydrogen, which is a metabolite that can build it up in the muscle and lessen your contractional capability. Then we have arginine nitrate, three whopping grams. I like nitrate. So this is a combo. This is an arginine and nitrate combo. One gram of arginine nitrate is about 260 to 270 milligrams of nitrates. And what we want to get is anywhere between 400 to 800 milligrams of nitrates. The higher you go up, the more tightness you're going to get, the more vasodilation it's going to create. And we're close to 800 milligrams in three grams of arginine nitrate. This actually transfers over from nitrate to nitrite to nitric oxide. So it's a very quick reacting ingredient it starts its pathway process right through the bacteria in the mouth and the saliva so it comes in about 15 20 30 minutes i'll let you guys know how this thing hits then we have betaine and hydrous at three grams this is an osmolite a methyl donor and basically for the gym we're looking at the methyl don or the osmolite purposes of this because this is a hydration ingredient by allowing water to enter and exit the cell for more endurance and power output in the gym. Then we have taurine at two grams. I just did a short on taurine of a few things that it does. But taurine balances electrolytes and water in the cells. It's its main purpose. The body produces it and it also helps control temperatures in the body as well testosterone regulation it produces lh and fsh and the testes and a few other things but this is also going to contribute to fat loss because this serves a pathway somewhat like carnitine so we have the carnitine shuttle to shuttle fats into the cells well this has a pathway into the cells to shuttle fats and carbohydrates which is glucose for energy then we have vassal drive ap which is a casein a derivative here and it's 508 milligrams i like this i've been wanting to take like double that amount because i heard some really good things about this and basically what this is this is a um this consists of valine proline and isoleucine it helps reduce inflammation it increases enos it helps the vasodilation blocks the activity of the and and the angiotensin conversion which is the angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 conversion so angiotensin 1 we like because it creates vasodilation angiotensin 2 creates vasorestriction then down to the gorilla energy and focus matrix l-tyrosine 
at three grams. This is, turns into dopa, then dopamine, then norepinephrine, and then an enzyme comes in, turns it into epinephrine, cognitive function. Uh, it helps with thyroid function as a secondary pathway, so it's not a direct hit on thyroid, but it helps with your metabolism to stabilize it. Not to increase it, but if, you're, if your metabolism goes down, your thyroid function goes down, this helps with T3 and T4, I believe, hormones to actually regulate and boost them up for some fat burning processes. Then we have some alpha GPC, 800 milligrams. This is a precursor to acetylcholine in the brain, which helps with neural function and firing, cognitive function, memory, all those good things that we want in the gym. We're actually trying to get some contractions in on there. Then we have some DMAE at 750 milligrams. So DMAE helps with cognitive function and focus, mostly attention energy and mood within the brain and it does this by eliminating cellular waste that accumulates within the brain cells so it keeps everything kind of firing clean it's like kind of lubricating everything and keep everything going there nice ingredient there and then we have theobromine at 400 milligrams diuretic uh, this is another pathway to creating enos for vasodilation this has been shown to help with cognitive function and focus by elevating or increasing certain pathways in the brain with extra blood flow um, in certain regions to help aid in the cognitive function, the focus, the attention that you might get on this thing. Then we have an extra, one of my favorite ingredients, 300 milligrams. So an extra um, is a has a cognitive process known as attention network function. And this is its ability to um, have the brain devote itself or your thought processes to a single task. So this is a dialed in type ingredient. The kicker on this ingredient is what I've found whenever this ingredient is stacked with caffeine and other stimulants is it elevates certain aspects of it. So what this does, is this doesn't like a central nervous system hitter, but it acts like some aspects of some stims by awakening the brain. So behind your eyes, you feel like you're, you know, your brain's awake behind your eyes for a long period of time, up to five hours hours. So fantastic ingredient in a pre-workout. I love that they put it in there. Caffeine and hydrus, 300 milligrams. This is blocks the adenosine receptors A1 and A2 to help you keep you awake. Then we got some Infinergy, dicaffeine malate at 150 milligrams at 75%. And then we have some caffeine citrate at 100 milligrams coming in at two scoops. So that's half. You got, uh, so caffeine citrate is going to be 50 milligrams. So that's going to hit you rapidly within about 15, 20 minutes. We have caffeine and hydrous, which is going to come in about 40 to 50 minutes at 300 milligrams. And then we have the Infinergy at 150 milligrams, 75%. I believe that's like 120, something like that. I'll put the exact dosage like I always do. You hear the ding in there with the exact dosage in here. But we got 300, 400, about 450 to 475. We'll see if I'm right when I do this video and put it all together. Then we got an absorption matrix, estrogen at 50 milligrams. I love estrogen. Uh, this helps with gut and gut inflammation. This also has the ability to help with the process of amino acids. So for those of you who don't know, estrogen actually contributes to the vasodilation in the pumps of a pre-workout. We don't talk about this that much, but because it helps with the arginine and it helps with the L-citrulline functions in the body as far as the digestion purposes, it also has some mechanisms that help with vasodilation along with those ingredients. So when you combine this with those ingredients, it's going to elevate the vasodilation of pumps a little bit more. 50 milligrams is great. And wait for a product to be 75 or 100 one day so I can really feel the effects. So... El Jefe, El Jefe Gorilla Series. How did it do? You first take the scoop. That four grams of beta alanine comes in in about 10 minutes. Just what to be expected. And it peaks probably about 15 like most pre-workouts. This one hangs around for a while. So what it does is there's not much going on within the first 15 minutes. But there is stuff going on. And you feel the beta alanine for a good 50, 40, 50 minutes, kind of as it's dialing down. I'd say about 20 minutes is when you're awakened. So the caffeine comes in, the uh, caffeine citrate comes in at 50 milligrams. And about 20 minutes, you start feeling awake. 
and it peaks from 20 to 30 minutes and it's pretty much you're just awake so there's no dead spot you start kind of feeling between 30 and 50 minutes other things coming in it's just a very very slow climb but it's nice 50 milligrams of caffeine citrate in two scoops it gives you if you're tired it'll it'll wake you up it'll wake the brain up a little bit so this thing drops in in about 15 minutes 50 minutes and when this thing kicks in you feel good your well-being comes up so i love about an extra it elevates all the caffeine effects the serotonin and everything in the brain and you have this feel good feeling like you don't feel like dancing although if you follow me on instagram you see me dancing a couple times and a couple times i've been on this sucker here so the music sounds good you feel like moving you feel happy you feel um kind of like driven to get to accomplish something or things, you know, to get the gym workout done, to just finish and do what you want to do. Your attention is just drawn and set to get everything done without any kind of, I'd say like craziness, like no heart palpitations, no shakiness. There's no alpha yo in this thing. And you're going to get a good hour and a half workout on this thing on the high end. When the caffeine and stuff starts to dial down after about an hour and a half, as far as the stims, you are left with any, with the an extra that keeps you awake for a good five hours and i'm not talking about a stim hit awake it's just an eye opening awake a brain awakeness and you have this feel good feeling that's hanging around long for a while because an extra really kind of hangs on to whatever's been elevated the dopamine the gaba the serotonin increases from the caffeine i really love this hitter when it comes to that aspect as far as the energy and focus it's not like Nootropic bubble at all, but it's a dialed in attention to it and very nice, smooth thought process. So energy is about a medium high when it's really hit. Uh, focus is about a medium high on attention and task driven to get something done. And then pumps. Pumps on this thing. These nitrates come in, I'd say about 30 minutes. The pumps on these things are dry, tight and veiny and if you're already lean you're going to be having some spider veins down the arm and the tightness is going to hang with you on two scoops pretty much all day i meant great hitter here a diamond in the rough as far as pre-workouts go because this thing is super smooth now this is still considered a high stem pre-workout um, I compared it to their other Hell Hefe. It's just the other Hell Hefe is more of a stim junkie pre workout. This is more of a high stim lover pre workout to where they want the stimulation, they want the energy, they want the drive, they want the attention, but they don't want the nootropic bubble from a stim junkie pre. They don't want the after effects of Alpha Yo or Yo Himbine. This is a fantastic dial in get shit done pre-workout that i'm just i was I'm, I'm proud to run and proud to review for you guys because i this is my type of pre-workout i really like what they did with this thing and i believe a lot of you out there that like furiosa and just kind of like high stim pre's but don't like to go into stim high stim junky pre's are going to really love this as well so i'm glad to review this for you so i'm going to get going i know the time's building up here i'm so sorry for babbling on but i want to give you guys the full detail on this thing once again this is what it looks like el jefe the flavor again was a blueberry lemonade there love what they did with this thing i'll go ahead and put a link down below to uh extremist cartel and also i think nurture Nutri cartel sells this as well so i'll throw some links down before below for you guys other than that i gotta get going to work my time's up we'll see you guys next time on the channel